Wait. Okay, so today we're going to look at something in calculus called the chain rule. Now, the chain rule is meant to differentiate something that's more complicated than the things we usually differentiate. So, for example, if we have a function f of x is e to the x, well, the derivative is simply e to the x. But what if we have something a little more complicated? Okay. Suppose we have f of x equals e to the 3x. Okay, now, right now, we don't have any rules that account for something this complicated. So there is something called the chain rule. Now, usually, a textbook will explain the chain rule using function composition. And I have to admit, it gets a little complicated trying to think of it in those terms. So the way I like to look at it is we're going to look at levels of functions. So let's look at this function, for example. What is the main thing that we are doing in this function? We're taking e to a power. So, level 1, that's going to be the main purpose of the function, e to a power. All right, let's delve a little deeper into the function. Now, we have e to a power, but the power is more complicated than x. So level two, the exponent is 3x. And the way we get the derivative, we take the derivative of level one. Now the derivative of e to a power is e to a power. So that is e to the 3x times the derivative of level two. Well, the derivative of 3x is 3. So just rearranging the order of multiplication, we get 3e to the 3x. And we are done. Now, we didn't have to think about function composition at all in order to be able to do this. Let's look at another example. So, suppose we have f of x is equal to the sine of x squared. Well, we know how to take the derivative of sine x. That's cosine. But the angle is not x. It's more complicated. We have to use the chain rule. So, level 1. What are we doing with the function overall? We're taking the sine of an angle. Level two. What is that complicated angle? X squared. So now we get f prime of x equals the derivative of level one, the derivative of sine of an angle is cosine of the angle x squared times the derivative of level 2. And the derivative of x squared is 2x. Okay. So now, just rearranging the order of multiplication, okay, we get 2x cosine of x squared. Okay, let me show you another example here. So, we've looked at complicated angles, complicated powers of e, and if you had 2 to the 3x, it would be exactly the same thing. Except remember, the derivative of 2 to the x is 2 to the x lin 2. All right, suppose we have a complicated expression getting raised to a power. So suppose we have f of x equals the square root of x squared plus 9. 
Now again, please, you know you cannot distribute square roots over, um, you cannot distribute square roots over addition. This is not x plus three. But this is x squared plus nine to the one half. Because again, the square root is the one half power. So now, trying to differentiate this, so let's look at this, level one. What is the main thing we're doing with this function? We're raising something to the one half power. Level two. What, what is that something that's getting raised to the one half power? It's x squared plus nine. So now, to get f prime of x, we take the derivative of level one. Well, when you have something to a power, how do you differentiate it? Bring the power down, you have that something to one less power. What is that something? It's x squared plus nine times the derivative of level two, that is two x. And simplifying this, the one half and the two cancel, and we end up with x over the square root of x squared plus nine. So now, let's come over here. To summarize, when can we use the chain rule? When we have a complicated angle. We and when I say complicated, something more, um, something, something more complicated than x a complicated exponent, and a complicated expression raised to a power. Finally, let's finish off. Let's look at something that has more than two levels to the function. Let's look at e to the sine of 3x. Well, what are we doing at the top level? We're taking e to a power. Level 2, okay, let's look at the power. Well, we're taking the sine of a complicated angle. And level three, what is the complicated angle? Three x. So f prime is the derivative of level one. The derivative of e to a power is e to the power. The derivative of level two, derivative of sine of an angle is cosine of the angle. And finally, the derivative of level 3, the derivative of 3x is 3, and rearranging the order of multiplication, we end up with that, and that is the chain rule.